This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on redemption of debentures. I wish to solve one sum here before you. On redemption of debentures, observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum which I wish to solve here before you. Swati Associates Limited has issued 10,012% debentures of 100 each. On 1st of January 2015, these debentures were, are redeemable after 3 years at a premium of rupees 5 per debenture. Interest is paid annually. So interest is paid on 31st of December every year. On 1st of October 2016, it buys 1,500 debentures from the market at rupees 98 per debenture. These are sold away on 30th June 2017 at 105 per debenture. On 1st of January 2017, it buys 1,000 debentures at rupees 104 per debenture from the open market. These are cancelled on 1st of April 2017. On 1st of October 2017, it buys 2,000 debentures at rupees 106 per debenture from open market. This debenture along with other debentures were redeemed on 31st of December 2017. Prepare the relevant ledger account showing the above transaction working should be the part of your answer. Now see. Relevant ledger accounts are to be prepared. Now, which are the relevant accounts? Debenture liability account. We are required to pay interest on debentures or debenture interest account. The investment is made in own debenture, so investment in own debenture account. We are going to earn interest on interest on own debenture, so interest on own debenture account. Over and above, we shall prepare profit and loss account. So these are the various accounts that we are required to prepare. Now we are required to prepare ledger accounts for what period? The debentures were issued on 1st of January 2015. The redemption took place on 31st of December 2017. So we are going to prepare all these ledger accounts for 3 years, 15, 16 and 17. Now when we are going to prepare the ledger accounts for 3 years, we are required to Right, debenture interest and trip for 3 years. So we are required to pay interest on debentures on 31st of December 2015, on 31st of December 2016 and on 31st of December 2017. 1st of January is the date on which the debentures are issued. The first transaction took place on 1st of October 2016. So there are no transaction for purchase of whole debenture or sale of whole debenture or cancellation or some such things are not there in the sum. So in the first year, the debenture interest will be paid for the full among 10,000 debentures of 100 is on 10 lakh, 12% 12 debenture interest will be paid on 31st of December 2015. So first of all, I will start with ledger accounts on 1st of January debentures issued. Then the first interest is paid at the end of the year, that is 31st of December 2015. The balances will be carried forward of 2015 to 2016. In 2016, the first transaction that has taken place on 1st of October, it buys 1500 debentures from the open market. This debenture are purchased, own debentures are purchased, but they are not cancelled. See, they are purchased from the open market and these are sold away on 30th June 2017 at 105 per debenture. So here the own debentures are purchased on 1st of October. When we purchase the debenture, we have to pay interest. Just like we pay interest when you purchase the investment. Now these debentures were held by me on 31st of December 2016. So on 31st of December 2016, when I was required to pay interest on debentures, the interest payment, debenture interest payment, will be bifurcated into two parts, debenture interest payable to the outsider, debenture interest due on own debenture. This I am going to consider on 31st of December 2016. Now after considering this point, there are no relevant sales transaction or other transaction in 2016. So this is the transaction that I am going to consider in 2016. All subsequent transactions are in 2017. So 2016 I have got one transaction purchase of own debenture, interest payment at the end of the year. Then the balances will be carried forward. In 2017, how many transactions are there? There is an opening balance of own debenture which are sold on 30th June 2015. So sales transaction on 30th, 30th June 2017, sales transaction, purchase transaction on 1st of January 1000 debentures 
and rupees 104 cancellation transaction on 1st of april 1st of october purchase transaction then cancellation transaction on 31st of december and the redemption of all remaining debentures on 31st of december so majority of the transactions are in 2017 now after explaining the number of transactions the number of accounts to be prepared for how many years they are required to be prepared and how many transactions are found or required to be recorded in each year that has been identified and now let me start with the sum so let me prepare the ledger account see 12 percent old debentures account interest and cost column is prepared then debenture interest account then profit and loss account is also going to be prepared for three years there is an extract over and above 12 percent debenture liability account it is going to be prepared for three years premium on redemption of debentures because debentures are redeemable at a premium of rupees five per debenture now swati limited has issued 10,000 12 percent debentures of rupees 100 each so 10,000 into 100, 10 lakhs is the liability. So bank account debit to debenture account credit, 10 lakhs. As I told you, there are no such other transactions in the year 2015. So closing balance of debentures account, 10 lakhs. That will become opening balance in 2016. Now I'm required to pay interest on 31st of December 2015 on 10 lakhs at 12%. Debenture interest account debit to bank account credit. This debenture interest will be transferred to profit and loss account at the end of the year. So profit and loss account debit 120,000 to debenture interest account credit 120,000. This is how accounting entry that I have explained to you and its laser posting is demonstrated here to you for the year 2015. Now, after that, I want to proceed with the transactions of 2016. Now let me record the transactions of 2016. Look at the first transaction. On 1st of October 2016, it buys 1500 debentures from market at Rs. 98. So 1500 debentures each of Rs. 100 is. So 150,000 is the face value of the debenture purchased. So one debenture purchased face value. 150,000. Now, if you are not told anything about this 98, is a come interest price or X interest price, if not specified, you should also always presume that it is X interest price. If not specified, debentures are always presumed to have been purchased at X interest. So 98 is the X interest price. So 115 to 98, this is the X interest purchase price. When we purchase, we are required to pay interest till the date of purchase starting from the date on which last interest was paid. So last interest was paid on 31st of December. So 31st of December to 1st October, 9 months interest is to be calculated so the total amount paid 147000 plus 13500 13, this is the total amount paid now this payment is made will be recorded to bank account here interest paid at the time of purchase so interest on own debenture account debit 13500 to bank account and investment in own debenture account debit 147000 to bank account this is how debit entry is recorded for the payment made now, after purchasing this on 1st of October, there are no other transactions till 31st of December. So, we are required to write pay interest on 31st of December at the rate of 12%. But we are required to work out how much interest is payable to the outsiders and how much is the interest on own debentures. So, 10 lakhs interest on own debenture investment 1 lakh 50,000, held by outsiders 8 lakh 50,000, calculated interest at the rate of 15%. So, interest payable to outsiders, debenture interest account debit to bank account and interest on own debenture, debenture interest account debit to interest on own debenture account credit. So, this is how interest on own debenture, debenture interest account is debited and interest on own debenture account is credited. Now, 31st of December 2016 interest is paid. So, we should carry forward the balance or the expenses are required to be transferred to profit and loss account. Let us do that. So, here are the closing balance of 2016. That will become the opening balance on 1st of January 2017. This is how the balances are carried forward. So far as this interest account is concerned, it will be transferred to profit and loss account. 18,000 is the income, 13,500 is the 
interest paid or own debenture at the time of purchase of debenture. So net interest is the income of the company that will be credited to profit and loss account. So interest on own debenture account debit to profit and loss account credit 4500. This is how interest is transferred to profit and loss account. After this first account is closed, let me close this debenture interest account. Total debenture interest is 120,000 expense of the company will be transferred to profit and loss account. So profit and loss account debit to debenture interest account credit 120,000. Now same way, debenture liability closing balance 10 lakhs that becomes opening balance on 1st of January 10 lakhs. This is how all these balances are carried forward and the expenses and the incomes are transferred to profit and loss account. Now I want to start with 2017. In 2017, see, now 2007, they sold away on June 30th, 2017, 105 per debenture. So these debentures which are with me at the beginning of the year are sold on what day? They are sold on 30th June. So when you sell the investment, you receive interest. Now, if you are not told anything, the price given is X interest. So this sales value. So 1500 debentures, each of rupees 100 is so multiple 100 each. So 1 lakh 50,000. Now 1500 into 105 X interest sales price. When we sell, we receive interest till the date of sales. Sales has occurred on 30th June. Last date of interest is 31st of December. Six months interest is received. So six months interest on 1 lakh 50,000 into 12% into 6 by 12 interest is received. So this is the total cash received. So bank account debit to interest on own debenture account credit to investment in own debenture account credit 1 lakh 57,500. This debenture interest is received. Of course generally interest on own debenture is recorded by a transfer entry. With transfer entry, debenture interest account debit to interest on own debenture account credit. That type of transfer entry is recorded. But remember forever, when the own debentures are sold, the interest transfer entry don't take place, but the interest on own debenture is received in cash. That's an important point to be understood. So bank account debit to interest on own debenture account credit, 9000, that's an important entry. Now, Profit or loss on sale of. So here sales price 157,500. It's purchase price. So profit on sale. Transfer to profit and loss account. So investment in own debenture account debit to profit and loss account credit. This is profit on sale of own debenture. Transfer to profit and loss account. Now this is how this transaction is over. Now the next transaction on 1st of January it buys 1,000 debentures. So, face value 1000 into 100, 1 lakh, 104 is the X interest purchase price, 1 lakh 4000. When we purchase, we are required to pay interest till the date of purchase. Now, 1st of January is the date of purchase, 31st December is the last interest rate. So, date of purchase and date of interest coincide. So, there is no question of interest to be paid at the time of purchase of the venture. So, interest paid, nil. So, cash paid, cash received is wrong. Cash paid, 1 lakh 4,000. So, investment in own debenture account debit to bank account credit. Now, these are cancelled on 1st of April 2017. So, when you cancel debenture account debit to investment in own debenture, this is a face value. The cancellation has occurred on 1st of April. When you cancel, you are required to write the entry for interest on own debenture till the date of cancellation. That interest is calculated from the last date of interest till the date of cancellation. Here the date of cancellation is 1st of April. So you are required to calculate interest for 3 months. So this is the face value of debenture cancel. 3 months interest there on at the rate of 12%. So debenture account debit to investment in old debenture account credit cancellation entry and debenture interest account debit to interest on old debenture account credit 3000. This is an important entry that is recorded. When you cancel the debenture, 
when the investment in own debenture is made and that investment in own debenture is cancelled against the debenture liability, you are required to write the adjustment entry for interest on own debenture till the date of cancellation starting from last date of interest. So 3000 interest on own debenture interest account, debit to interest on own debenture account is credited. This 3000 here debited in here credited, but for 9000, I have not debited interest on own debenture interest account because it's not a cancellation, it's a sale. And when we sell our own debenture and the interest is received at this time of sale, that is to be recorded in bank account. So 3000 here credited and here debited, but this type of 9000, this 9000 should not be debited to debenture interest account because it is a deal. interest on own debenture received in cash. That's an important point. I'll just tell you these things once again at the end of the sum. Now, these debentures are cancelled. What now, what is the profit or loss on cancellation? This is the cash received or exchange value received. One like 4,000 was the purchase price. So 4,000 is a loss debited to profit and loss account. So profit and loss account debit to investment in own debenture account credit 4,000. This is how this transaction is done. On 1st of October, 2000 debentures are purchased, 100 each, so purchase face value purchased. Bank account, 106 is the X interest price. You are required to calculate interest till the date of purchase, that is up to 1st of October, so 9 months, 31st of December to 1st of October, 9 months, 2 lakhs into 12 percent in 9 months, so this is the cash paid. So, in interest on own debenture account debit to bank account, investment in own debenture account debit to like for 12,000 to bank account, to bank account, this is how the posting is made. Now these debentures are cancelled on 31st of December. So on 31st of December it is cancelled. So 2 lakhs debenture account debit to investment in own debenture account credit 2 lakhs that is to be recorded. We are required to write the entry at the time of cancellation, we are required to write the adjustment entry for interest on own debenture till the date of cancellation. So here the date of cancellation is 31st of December. So 12 months interest will be calculated. So debenture interest account debit to interest on own debenture account credit. Say 3000 and 12000 I have recorded the entry because the debentures are cancelled. Now. Debentures account debit 2 lakhs to investment in own debenture account credit. This is a cancellation issue. This is an adjustment entry for debenture interest account debit to interest on own debenture account credit. Now 2 lakh 12,000 is the purchase price and 2 lakh is the cancellation value. So loss on cancellation will be transferred to profit and loss account. Profit and loss account debit to 12,000, 4,000 is already there. So 12,000, I will add 4,000 from 12,000, it will become 16,000, notice it. Now, remaining debentures are paid, you are required to pay debenture interest at the end of the year. So 4,50,000, this is also 4,50,000. This is the interest income, this is the interest paid at the time of purchase, net income. Transfer to profit and loss account. So interest on own debenture account debit to profit and loss account credit. This is how it is closed. Now this account is also closed. Totally same because profit or loss on sale or sale or cancellation is already accounted for. Now remaining debentures are paid. So 7 lakhs rupees are paid. So debenture account debit to debenture holders, debenture holders to bank or straight way write down debenture account debit to bank account. You are required to pay redemption premium also and you are required to pay debenture interest on 31st of December. Redemption premium is also required to be paid at the rate of rupees 5 per debenture on these 7000 debentures. That I am going to record after a couple of minutes. But let me first record the entry for debenture interest. So on 7000, when you redeem the debenture, you have to pay the interest out at the same time simultaneously. So 84000 debenture interest account debit to bank account. So debenture interest account debit 84000 to bank account. Debenture account debit 7 lakhs to bank account. Redemption premium is also required to be paid. Now, this 
डिबेंचर इंटरेस्ट इज ट्रांसफर टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एट द एंड ऑफ द इयर वन लैक इलेवन थाउजेंड सो प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट डेबिट टू डिबेंचर इंटरेस्ट अकाउंट नाउ द रिडेमशन प्रीमियम इज फाइव पर डिबेंचर फाइव परसेंट सो थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड रिडेमशन प्रीमियम अकाउंट डेबिट टू बैंक अकाउंट एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रांसफर टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एज द डिबेंचर आर रिडीम सो डिबेंचर रिडेमशन प्रीमियम इज ऑल्सो डेबिटेड टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट नाउ दिस डिबेंचर आर रिडीम सो देर इज नो लाइबिलिटी so this is how this entire sum is sold and presented here before you i have tried to explain to you this sum i feel that you have followed all these things thanks to